28 points tonight. Seems like you've had a pretty good streak of great games here at Reynolds. What's the difference there? Um, just a fan base, you know, playing on your home court. Um, today was also a special day for K. Yow, so just putting that out for her uh, feels good. For both of you, what does it mean to be able to play in this game here at NC State? Um, it means more than just the game today, um, just especially um, the survivors that came to the game today. Um, it's really important for us, you know, obviously to win the game, but obviously, you know, talk to them and just let them know that we're grateful that they're here and that they're just powerful women, they're strong women. Thanks, man. Oh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going <laughs> to ask how much their example kind of motivated you today to pull off a win when things got a little dicey. Um, I mean, I feel like we just, like, we're strong mentally and physically today. Um, you know, I think that motivated us to, you know, we got to pull this out. Especially on KO night, we can't, we can't let that yeah, happen, can't. so. Because yeah. <laughs> more would have got us next day. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, what was working for you out there that kind of let you go off, especially in the first half? Um, just getting to the paint. Um, Coach Moore just saying, our guards can attack their guards off the perimeter and stuff like that and just looking for a river ball win and also driving and kicking them. Um, I did a couple driving kicks and looking for Maddie Hayes uh, for the three, so, you know, that was working as well. How would you describe what it's like playing a game like that where everything seems to be going in for you? Um, I think we play multiple games like this during the season, so just facing more adversity is just, just going to help us get better in the long stretch. It seemed like in the first quarter especially, you, you were down four points and then you scored 16 and you had the first quarter on top. It seemed like you were getting your looks inside that you kind of figure out, okay, but I can make my way there. Definitely. I saw the uh, bucket was getting bigger and bigger every uh, every possession, so just attack, keep attacking and attacking. I know they was fouling, so just getting to the free throw line was helping us as well. Both of you hit four threes. What was kind of happening out there that led to all those open looks? She, she was passing me, I was open, yeah. <laughs> you know, just trying to hit him. Um, you know, she had some really tough buckets, you know, especially in the first half, she kept us in for sure. Um, I had a couple down the stretch in the second half. I think just we've been working on it in the summer. We've been working on it all season, so it's showing every game. Mm -hmm. Zoe's had some big games consistently through mm -hmm. the season, but when y'all look at how, you know, what kind of player she is beyond scoring, you know, <laughs> How would you kind of quantify her impact on this team? She gives that gives us that spark off the bench. Um, you know, even though a couple of games she has started for us when Sanaya was out. Um, but I think she's really, you know, settling into the role that she's in now. I feel like, you know, she scored a couple big buckets down the stretch in the first half, mm -hmm. which um, that really helped us get us going. Um, Dang, hold on. I'm trying to look at this. She had four assists. Yep. Okay. Well, and she had a block. Um, <laughs> Well, she's just all over the place. Her energy is great. Um, you know, just got to keep her focused, you know, freshman things. But, you know, um, I don't call her a freshman on the court. So as long as she keeps doing what she's doing, she'll be fine. Yeah. Madison, kind of a sneaky double-double for you, 12 yeah. points. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how important is that aspect for you to, to get those boards? Um, we knew Louisville coming in. Um, you know, obviously Olivia Cochran was my old AAU teammate, knowing that she's really aggressive on the boards. Um, and she has 17 and 12 tonight as well. But, you know, um, just trying to stay involved, even though I wasn't scoring as much. Um, I was just getting a lot of defensive boards, golly. <laughs> but um, just trying to, like, make sure that I'm staying in the play and just, you know, being aggressive um, on the boards. Um, making sure I got one offensive rebound. They suck at these stats, bro. But, no, nah, yeah. But, yeah, just staying on the boards, doing the little things. That's what's making our team better, you know. Zaza had her big night tonight again, you. you know, you. as usual. <laughs> I guess it's a serious question, but has cancer touched either of your lives? As, you know, we oh, best uh, focus tonight? Not me personally. Dang, you about to make me cry again. No, you, um, I so got you. I got you. So, um, yes, cancer has touched my life. Um, my mom's uh, dad passed away from uh, lung cancer before I went to college my freshman year, um, and then my. Granny, my dad's mom, she passed away last summer before I came back for the semester. Um, she had leukemia. And then, obviously, uh, Coach Nikki McCray pinson at Mississippi State. She, I was her first recruit there that committed to her at Mississippi State. Um, obviously passed away from breast cancer. Um, it was definitely a big game for us tonight, for sure. <clears throat>
and I wrote, you know, their names on my shoes and just, you know, playing for them and just that's what they would want for me, you know, so, yeah. I'm trying not to talk too much because I'm going to start crying. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, no problem. And for both of you, what does this mean, this win mean? Because at this point you're in the middle of a three-game stretch at home, all three top 25 opponents. What does this mean for the team right now to stay, you know, at the top of the ACC? Um, you know, we're not done yet. We got one Thursday. We got a big one Thursday. Um, mm -hmm. So we're looking for a get back. You know, it's, we're playing on our home court. Our uh, fan base is going to be here, so it's going to be a good game on Thursday. What are you looking for? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, you know, obviously it's a big game after we lost by a buzzer beater. Just, we just got to be competitive. We got to want it more than they do. And I feel like we'll work harder than them, for sure. They got to come to us, too, so I'm excited. Definitely. When Louisville went on the run in the third quarter and mm -hmm. then in the fourth and cut it to like six or something, what was kind of the message in the huddle or to each other during the game? To, you know, just stay composed. Just empty the tank. You know, I think it was like what, like a minute or mm -hmm. minute and forty left. Yeah. So just emptying the tank and just rebounding was our main objective. Mm -hmm. You know, Cochran was uh, rebounding a lot over us and that was hurting us at the end. But you know, mm -hmm. we we pulled it through and you know, boxing her out and just getting to the free throw line. Yeah. Any final questions? For either of you, I. Mm -hmm. I can't help but think about last season. Mm -hmm. like both of you were on that team last season. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are trying to look forward and not back. Yeah. But it's not often that you lose four starters and you're that much better than you guys are this year. Mm -hmm. um, I, like, what's what's the difference and what what is like transformed within this team? Um, we all have the same goals. Um, I feel like it's definitely a player-led team. We all want the same things. We all want an ACC championship. We all want to go to NCAA tournament. We want to win a national championship. It's all there. And um, everybody brings different things to the table. Um, she brings every night this, what she's doing every night. Um, Lacey can shoot it. Zoe can be all over the place. Anaya is our true point guard. River can be a beast inside. Mimi can hit threes and be inside. Me doing the little things. It, everybody brings something different. I feel like that's something that is unique about our team, but can be very dangerous for other teams as well. So yeah. I think that makes us different too. So I just, I just have one more. I noticed, um, as I understood, you have a quote down there. It looks like KL. <laughs> Yes. Would you, would you mind explaining that? Um, you know, uh, just when life just, like she said, when life just kicks you, you just keep going forward and stuff like that. So I think that motivates me personally because um, I face a lot of adversity in my life. So mm -hmm. just, just for me just to keep going forward and just doing things like this I did tonight, they just helped me mm -hmm. like for a long run. Do you always have that there or do you just put there? I just there? put it there for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.